Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Air travel has become a very important part of our lives. Many consider it the safest mode of transportation. So in this video, we will be talking about two important factors of an aircraft. They are airspeed and altitude. Airspeed is the velocity at which the aircraft is flying in the air. Airspeed is most often measured in knots. Altitude is the height at which an aircraft is flying relative to the sea level. It's measured in the unit foot. The pitot tube is a very simple device which uses pressure difference to calculate velocity and altitude. The pitot tube consists of an L-shaped hollow tube which has two holes. The first hole is generally used to measure the airspeed by taking note of the air ramp, so it's called as the ramp port. Hole number two is used to measure the altitude by measuring the static pressure of the air. So it is called as the static port. The pitot tube is normally mounted on the fuselage or the wing of the aircraft. When the aircraft is stationary on the ground, in the pressure developed in the first hole is equal to the pressure developed in hole 2. So the airspeed indicator shows zero. When the aircraft is in motion, the air entering the holes causes a pressure difference between the static port and the ramp port. This pressure difference is used to calculate the airspeed of the aircraft. The measurement of the altitude of an aircraft is also similar. As you might know, air pressure drops as we gain altitude. This drop in air pressure is calibrated into the avionics of the aircraft. So as the aircraft gains altitude, this pressure drop is calculated by the static port. The altitude is calculated by the avionics based on the readings from the static port. Usually there are nine pitot tubes in a Boeing 737. There are three pitot tubes in the nose of the airplane, which are used for airspeed measurement, separate ones for the captain and the first officer, and one for backup. Then there are four static ports on the either side of the fuselage for both the captain and the first officer. Then there are two separate ones for avionics. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. So if you're someone who's interested in aerodynamics, you should check out our aerodynamics based courses on our website. I've provided some links below. Thank you so much. Bye.